Howdy folks, Luke Simons with you. Back to the basics 101. You know, we had a blowout on this tire, which is on a creep feeder here. And when we did, the center cap, the dust cap on the wheel bearing disappeared. I mean, it disappeared. And I had <coughs> to get it down the road. I, I replaced the tire, of course, to get it down the road. I put some duct tape on there and I could not find a center cap anywhere, nowhere in town did they have a center cap for that dust cap. And it just drove me batty. I took the other side off, took it into the uh, uh, auto parts, even to the wrecking yard, nothing. I went back in the back pasture where all my old vehicles are, nothing. I cannot find the center dust cap. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. Duct tape, little native chrome, it doesn't work real well. Uh, yeah, it works temporarily, and it did. But still, moisture can get into that bearing. You don't want to just wrap your hub with duct tape. This is an old, old way of doing it, and it's not my way of doing it. This is what old timers did to get through this problem and really this will last the lifetime of this trailer. So as you can see our bearing is in great shape no play um, everything about it is in excellent shape I think we have a cotter pin in here yep we certainly do and everything is in roaring shape of course I don't want to use this duct tape again so let's go ahead and fix this today with a little trick I learned from an old timer. Folks, if you don't have one of these yet and you have a, a place, get yourself one. You're gonna love it. You're gonna absolutely love this machine. So folks, I was going to use this, and I have used these before, but you know, I split it, which is a common thing that happens with these uh, pop cans. So I fixed more of them with these, and when I say fix them, I don't like to hillbilly stuff up together, but sometimes in a pinch, you have to make things work. If every ranch would just go to the hardware store and buy everything new, all the time, you would not make your land payments. Land payments is where you make your money, period. That's how it works, folks. This is gonna work for us, heavy duty metal. PB Blaster, here we go. Now there's our beautiful new cap. Are you feeling it? Oh, I'm feeling it. Whoa. All right. Let's give her a couple love taps. doing good. There. There it is, folks. 
Isn't that pretty? So, we have ourselves a homemade can here. A bunch of hose clamps, most of them used. And we have our other end. Let's find one that'll fit. Uh, almost. Almost. Here's an old school girl one that will do it. No problem. And two of them came off a John Deere tractor, it looks like. Now, folks, if you don't have yourself a nut driver set, I would suggest getting one. You are really going to need it. Like I said, these are just used hose clamps. Let's see here. And we are going to put that on like so. And you know what? I made this mistake once before. Put the tire on first, then put the hose clamp on because I bet you that won't flit, fit around it. No, it won't. Holy Moses, almost falling off the jack, folks. It is almost falling off the jack. Oh, mana mia. It is almost off the jack, folks. It slipped. Did it ever slip? Okay. Good. Now, folks, if you're not using this stuff or something like it, never sees, you are really asking for troubles. It's gray goodness that will never come off of your clothes. Guarantee you, it won't come off your clothes. It doesn't even like coming off your hands. This is about to come off the stand. Oh, my life. Then they ask me why I don't go to rodeos. Every day is a rodeo around here, folks. Hopefully, this does not come off of the stand. Good stuff. You want to be using this stuff, I'm telling you. It'll make your life simple. This here is just a Harbor Freight tool that my dad bought me one year for Christmas. Ooh, gotta plug it in first. Man, if this doesn't fall off the jack, I don't know what will. Oh yeah, there we go. This is required to be plugged in. seeing this right here all that is is a nipple and the valve stem is right there and you're wondering why is the valve stem right there well this is something that cattle come up and eat in they stick their head in here and they eat in okay what they do is they step on that valve stem and you break it off and you're always about 300 miles from home it seems like not really but um, this here protects that but I will tell you, you have to carry a screwdriver. Sometimes dirt and muck and yuck get stuck in there. Not often, but sometimes. So I always have the, uh, just weld a little nipple on this and that'll save you a lot of heartache and they should come factory that way. Why they don't, I don't know. And it, actually, I think we're gonna have to use a, we sure are, we're gonna have to use a quarter inch nut on this, or a wrench, 
because I cannot get to it from the side. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to go get a, a wrench, which is not the end of the world. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tighten it from the other side, just like so. So we'll just loosen this up a little bit so we can get that pushed back all the way. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to put the gear wrench on it or not. You know, it always cracks me up a little bit when I hear people say stuff like, Well, you're, you're rednecking it. Well, wait a minute here. Is that a derogatory word? It might be. But, you know, rednecks, you could say, one, World War I and World War II. There was never a war like that ever in the history of mankind. We shined in World War II. There was never, ever an army that ever did that. Now, of course, I would say God helped us on that, of course. But... The main thing is, is the farm boys knew how to work and they knew how to make things work. That's a big major deal, folks. And so when I hear people say, I don't want to rig it. Well, use your imagination, friend. Use your imagination. Oh. Yeah, there we go. That made her pop. Now let's see if I can turn it off. Oh, that is not going anywhere. Now the one inconvenience thing is, is this has to come off. These two have to come off if the tire goes bad. Luckily, this tire is really good tire. It's a class C. Um, I don't think I'll ever overload it and the good tread on this tire, I think it'll be good. Um, even though I always overfill this trailer. So, yeah, look at that. Boy, she is on there. Where's that dead blow at? Dead blow comes from Dakota. She gave it to me for Father's Day, I think. Oh, yeah, that, that didn't budge at all. These here will last forever, folks. They really will. This is a really good way of fixing your bearing. Um, especially on, on farm equipment. Like I said, I didn't think of this. This is just old school engineering here. Well, folks, if you enjoy these shows, let us know in the comments. You know, if we get a thousand views on a show, generally there might be a hundred people that stop by and say thanks. Um, also, if you could just hit that thumbs up button. I know YouTube has got a few situations going on now where a lot of people that are subscribed get unsubscribed, which is kind of irritating. So make sure that you're subscribed. Also, you could uh, hit the little notification button that's on the bottom. It's got a little bell. And that way you'll be notified when we make new videos. And of course, you know our videos are so professional that you just can't miss another one. Until the next time, this is Luke Simons. May the Lord guide and keep you. Happy trails.